Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is SlipDeer20, and welcome back to Minecraft on our Hardcore Survival World, where we finally have some shaders. I mean, look how beautiful our house looks right now. Like, oh, I just love it. But yes, besides some shaders, I did do a little bit of work off camera. Uh, one of the main things I did was link a nether portal straight to our XP farm. So let me show you guys that process real quick. So first things first, you want to go through the doors and you go up this little stairwell that I made. It's just above, so we don't have too much to worry about as far as like other mobs go. I will say I do need to make this look a little nicer here because I have a lot of skeletons trying to chase me up here so probably will make it a little bit a little bit protective there but yeah all you have to do is go through that portal and look we're at the mob farm I uh, got a little bit of loot right here kind of clean it out earlier and mobs fall down kill them bada boom bada bang get some xp now there is a little bit of stuff I do want to do this video the main thing I want to do is start upgrading our tools and armor get some enchantments diamonds that sort of stuff uh the other thing is start making a staircase to make it a little easier to go up and down our little like mountain edge area so that way we can go to the ship go to our portal that sort of stuff but the main thing i really want to do right now is start looting that ancient city i want to like transform into a village have a lot of villagers down there and just i don't know just make it look really cool but as i said i'm gonna make a little stairwell up and down the mountain i think for the mountain side where it goes to the ship it will be stone and then towards down here i'm gonna upgrade it to nether bricks in the future but i think wood should work overall for now all right let's see i think we should bring it out a little bit from here and then we'll work our way up kind of have it like wrap around a little bit here all right i think overall this is the style i want to go with so it goes up through there gotta clear it out a little bit but kind of wraps around a little bit right here we put something right here or maybe something over here as well and just start expanding a lot more with this but the main things i have to do is go to bed first and then i have to make myself a shovel just to make this process a whole lot easier because apparently mine is not in my inventory can't remember if i had a break or if i just threw it in a chest let me check to see do we okay i think it might have broke well while we're at it we might as well see what we can get for our next enchantment for a diamond pickaxe i'm probably gonna shave the silk touch one down just to see what will happen okay so we have a chance to get unbreaking three please i need some i need some help here to get some positive energy come on come on and we're gonna get Ah, <laughs> just some breaking three. That really, that really sucks. Okay, uh, let's kind of disenchant both of these pickaxes and see what we get next time. Okay, efficiency four. So there's a good chance. There's a very good chance there. All right, there we go. We got a little walkway now. Needs to be a little nicer, but now we don't have to worry about jumping down or doing some like parkour cross here. We can just walk up down simple as that now, i think for this part right here i'll have it be a little more fancier have like a proper like cobblestone walkway make it look really cool so let's get started on that i think my starting point will be about right around here maybe up here but we'll see about that let me go grab the cobblestone and get started all right so let's see kind of want to have it start around here for this part and then we'll continue forward we'll have it look more cobbly actually let's get the borderline let's get the outline that we want to do all right, so a little bit of change of plans right here. It's not finished, but I think right here is how I want it, where it's kind of like a little bit of like grass, a little bit of stone, and you can just easily walk up and down so it morphs with the terrain, but it doesn't like completely overshadow it. All right, I believe I have a mostly built staircase. I might tweak it a bit here and there, but overall, this is what it will look like. So from the bottom here, we go upwards. We follow the little stone trailway and a little bit here and there. It's looking like a little more of like sharper areas, maybe because I could not make it like warp around too much on this mountainside. But I think overall, this is a uh, this is a pretty good idea. And then we get to the top here, and there we go. I need to make a staircase right here. Don't know how I'll do it. I'll save it for, like, later. Like, probably off-screen work, but I'll save it for later. But I think right now, the main goal I'm going to do is start getting a lot more XP and start trying to make my way to the ancient city. Okay, so I do know I could use my XP farm, but I think for now, I'm just going to go around, like, mining a bunch of nether quartz. Make it a little bit easier to get the XP. Because the XP farm is mainly going to be used for it's like, oh, hey, I'm not really going to be recording a video. I just want to get some passive XP. Just sit around and do nothing, pretty much. Whereas Nether Quartz will be the quickest way, at least for now, to get a lot of XP. All right, I think overall I'm going to go with about 33 levels. That gives enough for like two enchantments. Hopefully we get Fortune 3 out of one of them because I would love to get a lot more diamonds. Man, I really need to get soul speed on these boots because I am like walking so slowly. And I hate that feeling because of the uh, Soul Sand Valley. We have a lot of skeletons nearby. But I think this might give us 33 levels. Hang on. And there we go. Perfect. All right, let's make our way back home because I do not want to stay here anymore, especially with all the skeletons. 
Okay, so I would like to apologize to you guys. I just realized my game audio was not recording this whole entire time. So, uh, oh my god, man, you guys came at the perfect time for me to describe my game audio not working. You just have perfect... Oh god, you can break through my armor. Oh god. But yeah, as I was saying, I accidentally did not have my game audio on this whole entire time. So uh, it should be fixed right now. I see the thing going like up and down. So I'm assuming at least it's fixed right now. If it's not, I do apologize for that. Alright, uh, might have to be a little careful here. I've got a lot of, uh, a lot of illagers trying to attack me right now. I'm probably gonna try to keep my distance. I don't really want to try to, like, mess around too much with them, because they are really annoying to kill. Like, mainly when they're in groups like this. Okay, come on, come, come on. Okay, I'm running, I'm running. Ooh, okay. Oh, that one shot me. Okay, gonna keep on going. Uh, power through it, power through it, power through it. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh. Jesus, I need a restraining order for you guys. All right, there we go. That's two, and last one. Whew. Man, I really hate Illagers. All right, anyway, before I was really interrupted and finding out that my game audio was not enabled, I'm gonna go and champ my pickaxes. All right, guys, please, I need some good faith put into this pickaxe. I need the best enchantments ever, and we're gonna get... Ooh, Fortune 3, let's go. That's what I was talking about. And you know what? Just for just for a little bit of ha-ha, hee-hee, let's see what we get here. Efficiency 3, Fortune... Or, not Fortune, I'm breaking 3. Not bad, but not what we need. All right, let's go and make our pickaxes combine right here, because I want to put our Fortune 3 and our efficiencies together. Uh, what should we name this? You know what? Let's name it Le Fortune. Okay, time to face my greatest fears, which is the, uh, the little ancient city here. I am terrified of the warden, but I have a plan. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to try to just, anytime he summons, we're just running away. I am not sticking around. All right, this is going to be my first time seeing the ancient city and the new shader pack. Ooh, look how cool that looks. Oh, okay. Took a little bit of damage there. We're okay. We're okay. All right. I do know that there is some warden shrieker things over here that we got to be very careful about. I think as long as we take care of this, we should be good. Uh, I'm going to try to make sure I know where I'm at at all times. All right, I see that shrieker. Got to be very careful. We're going to break it. Oh, of course you summon one. Uh, okay, I don't think it triggered one awake. So we should be pretty good. Where is that other one at? I did not see it anywhere. Is it over here? Not seeing it over here. Might be on the other side then. Oh, I never looted this chest right here. Let me take some of this stuff. Okay, I see a chest down there. Should probably be careful. I think I'm probably gonna go for it. Yeah, let's go for it. Oh, of course, there's another shrieker nearby. Where is it? Okay, it's in here. Okay, I see it. Ooh, okay, we should be good now. I'm gonna break as many of these, like, shrieker sensor things. Okay, I can't even speak right now. But break as many as those, because I don't want to deal with that. Uh, potion of regeneration. Another notch apple. Very nice. Very nice. Got some glow berries. Some sensors. Got a lot of good stuff. Alright. There should be a shrieker somewhere around here. I know I heard it when I was like breaking the air one over there. But I just don't know where. Okay. I see one sensor over there. Let's see if I can just kind of like... Okay. That was a little scary there. But I should be good to sneak on by now. Break that sensor. Or not sensor. The shrieker. And please don't summon another one. Okay, whew, we're good. You know, I'm going to be honest. Normally when I play this, I have like zero worry whatsoever. Because I'm like, oh, I can just respawn. It doesn't matter. But this is just one and done if anything happens. Okay, that's uh, that's a couple sensors there. Or shriekers. Bo, bo, mixer her bow. Please don't summon that one. Of course you did. I'm bringing it and I'm running. Wait, are we good? I think we're good. Okay, okay, I did not hear a warden summoning right now. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, my heart is like on the edge, just pounding out of my chest right here. Okay, uh, let's kind of climb up the ladder here. Please don't summon it anymore. All right, I see one right over here. We can just easily sneak on by. Oh, of course, there's a second one. Uh, I think if we break the sensor, still gonna... Yep, okay, break them both. Gotta go for it, gotta go for it. Yep, he's summoned. Okay, we're out of here. I'm not dealing with that. Nope, 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 nope. Woo! Alright. Not dealing with any of that. Yeah, he can... He can deal with all that on his cell. I am... Nope. 
We're just gonna take a little bit of a chill pill. We'll get a little bit of XP. Come back just in a minute. All right, while we take a breather here, I'm gonna deposit my inventory. We're gonna get some more XP. And I think we should probably try to find some more diamonds. That would probably be very, very useful right now. So that way we can make sure we have enough of, what do you say, armor pieces and tools and weapons and anything that we need just to survive this. I think I will use these bottles of enchanting because I don't want it to go to waste right now. And then, actually, ooh, I just remembered, I did download a specific part of Vanilla Tweaks for the spyglass. Alright, let's see if I remember how to make a spyglass. I think it's something like this and this. Yeah, I did. Alright, you guys ready? You guys ready? Hang on, I don't want to accidentally trigger it without showing you guys real quick. Alright, I'm going to show it on my little skeleton horses over here. Ooh, you know what? We got some creepers. Let me try it on them, because I just saw them walking around here. So you see those creepers right there? Just... <laughs> uh, okay, you're getting too close. It's just such a stupid thing. I, I'm gonna be honest, I shouldn't have probably downloaded this, but I'm glad I did, because it's just, I love it. I love just the funniness of it. Just some stupid humor, that's it. All right, let's take care of this other creepers right here. Don't hurt me. And I go back for another swing attack, and then I run away. And then I think one more. There we go. All right, let's go out there, get some nice, lovely XP. I think my main goal, at least for now, for this episode, will be getting at least around, like, maybe half of the Ancient City completed, where it's, like, completely red free of the Warden, because I think that would be a pretty good progress right there. Ooh, we got a Hoglin on me. Gotta make sure he doesn't swing me up in the air here. Gotta be careful. All right, there we go. Ooh, did not like... I do not like Hoglins whatsoever. Did not like that. I guess no. All right, we should be at level 33 here in just about... There we go. I was about to say, like, one more break, but we finally got it. Uh, where did we come from? I don't remember. I think we came from somewhere over here, maybe? Hmm. Oh, no. All right, Gas, you need to leave me alone. I don't want to deal with any, like, fireballs or anything like that. All right, if I remember correctly, I think we came from around this direction. We might need to make another tunnel, but I think we came from around here. I really need to make a book of quill and just write down where everything is. Okay, I think we're near where we came from. I just have no clue where our tunnel is. So I'm just going to continue going forward and hope for the best. Aha, I was correct. This was the correct direction to go. So, thankfully, my memory served me proper here. All right, let's see if the warden is still here. I'm not getting any blindness, so that's a good sign. Um, if he was here, I would have just went out, mined some diamonds, just kind of wait till he's gone officially, but it seems like we're good. I'm going to walk around, see if I'm messing anything. So far, so good. Oh, there's a shrieker up there. Okay. Okay, it's so not summoning him just yet. I'm going to go around and break that real quick if I can. Okay, I'm walking straight into lava. Oh, the damage is triggering the thing. I'm just breaking it straight off. Oh, he's right there. Okay, I'm running. I'm running. Run, 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 run. Nope, nope, nope. No, 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 no. Holy Christ, I really do not like the warden whatsoever. I'm gonna see if uh, leaving the area makes him despawn. Because I'm not gonna wait around trying to see if he despawns like that. Uh, I hear some skeletons nearby. All right, I went up a little bit. Let's see if he's gone now. So that way we can just continue running around trying to see if there's any more shriekers and whatnot. Nah, I still hear the heartbeat. So we do have to be a little careful. Kind of just wait it out officially. Okay, so I do still hear a heartbeat. Okay, I think he's leaving now. I just heard a noise of like him summoning. So I think he's gone now. No heartbeat. Okay, we're good. At least I hope we're good. Either that or we're about to meet the... Biggest jump scare of the lifetime here. All right, not seeing anything so far. Nobody around here? All right, perfect. Okay. Whew, was a little worried there. All right, I think the best thing will be having the uh, little torch out here because I don't want to don't wanna be running around in the dark. All right, let's see if there's anything nearby here. Hopefully, we can just sneak past everything. Don't awaken any more wardens. I gotta keep track, like, mentally where we're at. Because I think pretty much like one shot and we're dead. God, I really hate being in this area. Just sneaking around trying to make sure I'm not going to trigger a warden. Okay, so um, I see five shriekers. We came from that direction. I think we might be able to be safe. I just want to make sure we can just kind of like run the other direction here. Just to make sure we're like not going to be chased by a warden a little bit. And I think we can... Uh, let me kind of just simulate in my mind what's going to go on. So we're going to run through here. Just keep on running, running. Okay, nothing over here. Running, running, running. Keep 
I run forward. And it should be near the right hand side. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I do have a mental note. I'm going to place down a bunch of torches just to be safe. All right, let's go break some shriekers. Oh, of course I activated it. I'm going for it. Break, 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 break. Break, 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 And then run. Okay, we're out here. We're out here. Nope, nope, not dealing with that. Thankfully, I place a row of torches so we can just follow that. Don't have to worry about getting lost here. Whew. All right, I'm just going to kind of chillax up here. I'm going to, like, kind of block it off because I think there might be some mobs that may potentially, like, spawn up here. And the last thing I would need is, like, a creeper, like, jumping down saying hello and just killing me. Okay, are we good? I'm not hearing any heartbeats. It didn't sound like he was chasing me. I'm going to get a little close. I know it's a stupid idea, but I'm going to get close. Okay, yeah, he's still alive. Ooh, I hear some noise. I hope that's not him getting closer. Okay, I'm not hearing a heartbeat. Okay, we're good. Whew. All right, I do want to see what's over here. Hopefully, no more shriekers. Um, Kind of just want to see what's in the chest over here. I'm uh, going to break this sensor. Oh, there's a good couple beds. So, thankfully, there wasn't a, uh, wasn't a shrieker here. All right, what's inside this chest? Ooh, diamond horse armor, bane of arthropods, not useful. Some compasses, not bad. Overall, pretty good loot, not gonna lie. I'm gonna place a torch nearby just to signify that I did grab the loot from in there. Because I know this is gonna be like a lot of back and forth, back and forth with this. Alright, let's try this once more. I'm gonna sneak on in, sneak on in. I'm gonna start from back here and just kind of try to make my way around. So we're gonna go one, and then we're gonna go two, and then hurry, hurry, hurry. Three, run. Okay, we're out. Man, this is a lot easier than on Bedrock Condition. Normally, I would have died like 20 times by now because he just respawns right next to me for some reason. All right, I think enough time has passed. I'm going to give this one more go. Just try to see what loot I can grab. And then I'm just going to go focus on trying to get some diamonds, make some armor. Oh, nope. He's still very much alive. He is still very, very much alive. Never mind. But after I give this one more go, I'm going to try and find some diamonds. All right, he's finally left. I'm gonna go and try to find one more chest I can loot. I know there is that one tower over here I saw. So I'm gonna grab that and then try to get some diamonds. Okay, I like. Might be getting two chests. Ooh. Ooh, that's a shrieker in there. Okay. Um, maybe not. You know what? You know what? Uh, I need some more loot. Okay, so I do see a shrieker in there. So maybe not. Um, I'm gonna still try to climb this. Do I have... I need some blocks. Why did I not bring any blocks? We're gonna go grab some blocks real quick, and then we're gonna climb it, and then maybe, maybe I'll give it a uh, shot over there. Just the last thing I want to do is just kill myself because I decided to, uh, go for some loot that's, like, barely worth it. Alright, I'm gonna put a bucket of water in my inventory just in case he does summon. I can just, like, kind of quickly get away. Alright, please give me something good! Uh, music this, some pants. Ooh, ooh, hang on, those pants are good. Let me wear that real quick. And the rest of the stuff is okay. Okay, so there's only one shrieker. Issue is, I think the only way I can reach it is by placing a block. Okay, okay. Let me see if I can get close here. Ooh, I gotta place one block closer. Of course, of course. All right, let's go. Let's just, let's just go. We're gonna try to come back once we have the warden disappear, but I'm not. <laughs> uh, why do you spawn? Why do you always spawn? Okay, I think we're good. He's still there, but I don't think he's chasing us. I think he's a little lost. Uh, not gonna try to help him find his way. Definitely don't want to do that. All right, now he's leaving. All right, perfect. All right, let's see what's inside this chest that I pretty much risked my life for. Hopefully something good. Please don't be bad. Some more pants, music disc fragments. Okay, pretty much overall not the greatest. We do have a saddle. We can actually mount our horses now. But besides that, like I said, it's not really not really that useful. You know, I always forget that compasses can stack. Like, it's still a weird mechanic to me. Because I feel like before, like way back then in Minecraft, you couldn't be able to do that. Do, 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 do. Man, we just need a couple more fragments and we can make that music disc. All right, now we just need to find enough diamonds to make a full set of armor and tools and we should be good overall. I'm probably not going to go too crazy as far as like enchanting goes right now. Probably going to save that for a little bit later once we get more experience and more diamonds. But at the very least, I want to start getting like a full set of like tools and armor going. 
Okay, so I am hearing some water and lava around here. Maybe we'll find some diamonds as well. Let's see. Not seeing anything just quite yet. Ooh, we found the shiny blue. Let's go. All right, how much do we get? How much do we get? Just three pieces, which turned into seven. Nice. That's actually a really good return. We just pretty much doubled it all together. All right, we do got some redstone. I do want that. Uh, do we have anything else around here? God, I hate I hate the glowing lichens over here. Because I just think, ooh, diamonds. Nope. Just, just some lichen. Nothing special. Alright, I definitely hear more stuff behind here, maybe? Are behind or underneath? Somewhere around here. Are you lower or higher? Can't tell. Yeah, it just sounds like they're right here. <gasps> oh, God, Jesus Christ. Well, they're definitely right there. Is that it? Nope, one more creeper. Alright, I'm just gonna walk away from you. Ooh. Ah, uh, no, it's a glow lichen. Ah, tricked me again. And I hate how much it tricks me with that. Ooh, we got some more shiny blue. Please give me enough so that I can just leave. Nope, that's definitely not enough. That only gave me two. Even with fortune. Ooh, we got some lapis. I definitely need some more of that. Hopefully the creeper doesn't blow it up. Let me just kill you real quick. There we go. Yeah, I kind of need that lapis. Kind of use majority of it for enchanting. And it would be useful for future enchantments. All right, got some more iron. I do need that. I definitely know I need more of that. God, I hate glow squids so much. Like, that would be much cooler if you were able to, like, make more than just item frames and signs glow. And it's not even the sign part itself. It's just the border around the text. Okay, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Okay, Whew, we're good. Was a bit worried there, not gonna lie. We got a couple skeletons and a zombie behind me. Okay, I gotta deal with more than just that now. Uh, okay. I'm not gonna lie, panic a little bit there. Just a little bit, though. Alright, so we got about 15 diamonds. I think we have 14 back at home. I'm not certain. But uh, just to be safe, I'll grab just a little bit more if I can find any more. And then we'll head back home and make some tools and armor. Well then, that's a sight to behold. Uh, let me make sure I don't be attacked by anything. I'm gonna kind of just try to safely make my way down here. Actually, wait. I should have... Yeah, I do. Bucket of water. Aha, we got some more diamonds. Oh, I love seeing some diamonds. And we got some more gold. That's always good to have as well. Well, nowadays. Alright, skeleton. Leave me alone. I don't want to deal with you whatsoever. Oh, hey. Well, you look at that. We got a spider spawner, but we also got another skeleton shooting at me. So I gotta kind of run away because I'm being chased by both a spider and a skeleton. I'm talking really fast because I don't know what else to say. Uh... Piece of cake. Anyway, time to make that spider spawner not spawn in any more spiders because I don't want to deal with that. Uh, name tag, string, bones. Not bad. Not bad. Not the greatest. Not the worst. All right. Let me mine some of that diamond. Please don't be just one. It's just one. Ah, that sucks. Ooh, hang on. I do see some more over here. Ooh, and it's more than one. Perfect. We got 26. Okay, I think now we are definitely more than, uh, more than ready to make some armor and tools. Gotta be careful of that creeper. Hello, creeper. I don't like you whatsoever. That just went straight through it. That just went straight through the creeper. That's so weird. Oh, where did you shoot me from? Oh, from down here. Okay. I was so confused. I was like, how on the earth did I just take some damage there? Oh, hey, perfect. We can just go straight out. I didn't realize this led to the uh, ocean area here. And the real question... Oh, I was about to say, where's our house? I think that kind of that kind of answers our question there. Just the little uh, mob XP farm. God, I just love how the shader makes Minecraft look so much better. Man, I need to start placing some torches around here because there's, uh, there's some unwanted company here. All right, let's make some of this armor. I grabbed the diamonds already, so let's make this stuff. Uh, we'll start with the tools, actually, just to make sure we just get that out of the way. And the last one is a hoe. I know they say don't waste your diamonds on a hoe, but hey, what do I know? All right, let's make that chest piece. We make some boots. And then the last but not least, a diamond helmet. Ooh, hang on, let me wear all this. Let me wear all this. Oh, look how cool that looks. I love it. Ah, oh, we're moving up. We're moving up. All right, I think the last thing I'm actually going to do, let me see what I can get enchantment-wise for these uh, armor sets and whatnot. Let me grab the uh, lapis and then deposit some more stuff because I don't want to carry all this loot on me. And then let's go out and see what we can get. All right, let's see. Diamond helmet, blast protection. Nope, not going to take that. Protection three, we can do better. Unbreaking three, that doesn't sound bad. The sword gives us... Nope, definitely not going for that. Axe, 
Okay, not bad. Shovel, also not bad. I think I'm going to go with the axe because we will be chopping down a lot of trees. Okay, not bad. Not bad. I'll take it. I'll take it. Respiration 3. Ooh, that's tempting. Protection 3 still not good. Fire protection 3. All right, we're going to go with... We're going to go with the helmet. Please be good. Ah, oh, it's not good. Okay, what can we get next? Still no good. Still no good. That's okay. And shovel. Where's the shovel? Oh, there it is. I found it. I was looking really hard there, not gonna lie. Uh, Fortune 2. Okay, so not the greatest, not the worst. I'm actually just gonna wear it as it is. I'm not gonna de-enchant it. Alright, I have one more plan for today's episode, and that's gonna be getting a mending book. Hopefully we'll get enough emeralds for this. Uh, we'll see. If we do get it, then I'm gonna put it straight on my pickaxe. No questions asked. If not, then we'll try again a little later. Just wait for some of the crops to grow and whatnot. Now, if we are able to get mending, I'm going to slap that on my beautiful pickaxe right here. And if we're not able to get it, then I'll just do a little bit of farming and whatnot. Just kind of wait around till we are able to do so. Okay, so we did not have enough. I'm going to try to get some more potatoes and wheat and just anything I can. I'm going to try to get some bone blocks as well. Get some bone meal just to make this a little easier on ourselves. And we're going to try to get mending right now. I know I said we'll try again a little later, but I kind of want to just get it right now. Get it out of the way. Now, I could also try to find some emeralds naturally. I think there might be like one or two here and there we could find. Uh, we do have fortune three, so that would be a great benefit to us right there. Okay, so I'm not seeing any emeralds. That's kind of on me. I probably should have saved the ones that I did have. I'm going to take one more look around and then we're just going to we're just going to try to just completely go farm mode. Okay, I probably should have brought some golden boots or something just so that way the uh, Biglins didn't attack me. But you know what? We're all right. We're all right. You're all right, boy. All right, I hope this is enough potatoes and wheat because I do not want to try to get some more. But I have a pretty good feeling we'll be just barely short or we have to, like, wait for the villager to be like, Oh, you can't trade right now, so come back later. All right, please let this be enough. I don't want to, like, go back and forth too much. Okay, we're at 32, 34. Ah, oh, just short of the emeralds there, but that should be, that should be enough. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's go get that mending book. Knock, knock, hello, I am here for the mending book. Thank you very much. Now I leave you be. Let me get this so that way you don't escape because you are living here rent free pretty much. But we did it. We secured the mending book. Oh, so that's what that noise was. I was hearing a bunch of like noise right behind me. It's a trident guy. Should we try to go for it? I'm going to try to do it from a safe distance. I know they can like hurt super badly if I don't uh, try to do that. Ooh, he is starting to get way too close for my liking here. Should probably make sure I have my shield on, just to be safe. Gotta make sure he doesn't hurt me. Okay, I'm going in for a swing. Going in for a swing. Woo! Let's go! Come on! Stop hitting me! Bop! And then we do it once more. We do it once more. Come on! Come on! Wah! Ah, no trident. I was really hoping there was gonna be a trident. Man, that was a lot of tridents he shot at me. Or attempted to, at least. Alright, we take our pickaxe, we take our mending book, and we get best pickaxe we can get besides getting it to be uh netherite oh that's where my shield was i was looking for that all right i think we did a pretty good job overall as far as what i wanted to do for this episode you know we made a little staircase for the mountains inside into the portal we also made some tools out of diamonds and for the armor as well and we were able to explore the ancient city maybe not all of it but we did break most of the uh shrieker stuff but yeah i think for the next episode i'll probably focus on some more of the ancient city and most likely i think i want to explore a little bit try to see if we can find some like cherry blossom some trees spruce trees that sort of stuff but yeah if you guys did like the video please like comment subscribe and without the way this has been looking 20 signing off bye bye